Drop it? Yeah. Uh-oh. Nah, don't get in there. So we are using the Fast 2K Bolt today. Hey, just like that, it switched from a very cool spring to an 85 degree day with high humidity. It's almost, it's almost hot out here. We've got a few days of this and then it's gonna cool off a little bit. But while, we're, while it's warm, we're gonna take advantage of the working on the barn. We have just been pulled in every direction and got away from the barn and now we're going back. We've gotta put the two end posts in here and then one end post on the lean-to. And then we're next, that would mean the next thing we're doing is concrete. So let me show you the implement that I hate to love. Okay, this is it. Gizmo, this is it right here. This is the implement that I hate to love. Does that make sense to you? It is the absolute hardest implement to hook up to your tractor. It's heavy, it's awkward, it always is trying to fall over. Uh, I have seen some people have some kind of like uh, legs that they use it to hold up. And I've never tried one of those uh, apparatuses but that might may make it better but I can't see it making it a lot better still if you ever seen the other thing that I'm gonna show you you'll hate it worse than this So there is roughly 15 minutes of my life that I can never get back. It's probably, again, it's the hardest implement in the world to hook up. Come on, Gizmo. Right, another thing that I don't like about the post toe digger is that you constantly have to look around twisting dramatically over over to your right side to watch the work uh, and make sure the post toe digger is doing what it's supposed to do and as you get older that's harder to do uh, your controls are everything are up front and you're bending around like this trying to work your controls and do everything with just kind of remembering where your controls are at so I, I find that a difficult thing however it's still better than this thing. the precision manufacturing grapple uh, and we make a makeshift a makeshift clamp system and it's been really a useful thing to carry these big heavy posts around. Now, these posts are well over 100 pounds 
and they're really hard to stand up unless you use the hydraulics of the tractor. And it makes it pretty easy to carry them around and just kind of pinpoint where you want to set them in. But we've got a hole already dug. We've measured the depth of the hole and the uh, to the top of the ceiling there where we want this. And I hope we can get it in the hole and in the right place without tearing the roof up. We should have done this beforehand, but putting these posts at the end was decided at a later time. So we're gonna do our best. She's gonna tighten the string back up. Now, pull it tight. There we go. All right, we're gonna try to work this together. Tanya's going to be my eyes and ears. I can see pretty good, but an extra set of eyes or something like this is not a bad idea. I've got to see the end of the post. So it goes on this side of the, of the string. Huh? Yeah, it goes on the inside. So I got to just let it fall in and we're going to have to straighten it up. I'll get it as close as I can. How, how do we look? Can I just drop it? Just a little. Drop it. Can I, I can tilt it some more. Hang on. Drop it. I'm just going to let it go slow. Uh oh. I'm gonna see if I can pull that over some. No, it's tilted over. It's not gonna fall in a hole. Hey, what do you want me to do? Uh, raise the boom, raise it up. You, hang on, hang on. No, you got me, you got me tilted. You got me pinched in there. Yeah, you do. The back of the post is... We need to go to the far side of the hole. So... Oh. Over there on that side? Alright. That's all we can do then. Nah, don't get in there. Oh, stand it straight up. Push. My goodness, that's pretty daggone close. Yeah, that's pretty close. When it's touching the, you couldn't ask it to be more perfectly level that way. If we, my coaching. Yes, you're coaching right now. We got to get it this way though. Huh? Huh? Good or bad? Good. So that'd be square, level that way, and we already got it's level perfectly this way as long as we don't move it. Okay, I'll stand. So I'm just gonna stand here for the next couple hours. Okay. While I get everything ready. Okay, go ahead. We probably should got everything ready beforehand. Go ahead, go get the stuff, and I'll stand here. I will, I will hug it. Hug it? I'll, I'll just get the tractor. Thank you. 
That's all I'm doing. Yeah. We're going to turn it down. We can't make this change up here. So we are using the Fast 2K bolt today. Uh, we come across a couple of uh, boxes of Fast 2K bolt that we're going to try out. It's the same stuff that you get in the bags, it's just in a bulk. So instead of mixing up all the little bags individually, this is geared more towards like the pro guys or if you know that you're going to do a big post, you can order this from like uh, Lowe's or uh, anybody that cares that you can order the bulk, you just got to you got to get into them and get them to get it for you. Yeah, fast 2K. All right, so I am reading the instructions, which is so unlike me. And the reality is, I'm going to turn it around here so you can see, I'm not really reading instructions. I'm looking at the pictures. So, number one, put the post in the ground. Number two, pour part A into part B. No, put pour part B into part A. Yeah, so I'm messing that up. And then you're going to stir it with a stir that I have here for uh, 30 seconds. And then you're going to pour it in the hole. We've already got our post stabilized, so we just got to pour it in the hole and be done. This should be way, way easier. Don't get it on the shoes. Don't get it on the shoes. Don't get any fingers. Actually, they, it's until they go together, they're really not sticky. Okay, those are together. This little thing is made to go in that. How about that? Wow, this is actually considerably easier than doing the the bag. Plus, there's a whole lot more in here, so this should do one one post all by itself. All right, I'm going to stick this off here. So it's not all over me. That way I can reuse that again on the next one. And this is how hard it is. Okay, I gotta get out of my chair. So I'm, being, I'm paying special attention to coating the post right where the right where the ground touches. So I would imagine that would be the equivalent of about four packages of Fast 2K. This one probably going to take a little bit extra because we actually dug the hole out a little bit too much. So according to the, the instructions, you can start building off of Fast 2K. Like we can start attaching stuff and working with this post after 30 minutes. And, you know, maybe in the colder weather, you might want to give it, you know, 40 minutes. But in our weather right now, it's 80 degrees and very comfortable. Uh, you could literally just go to work. You're not like concrete where you have to you have to wait for 24 hours and you can do this in the ground when it's you know not necessarily totally dry you don't want water standing in the hole but if it's just damp it's okay where concrete you might not want to do it that way all right so our hole was a little big and therefore we're going to have to spend a little more money and put another thing of fast 2k in but again this is going to be waterproof and I think it's worth it.
All right, so we have got to go get one more six by six, 20 foot long, $133 because this guy cut one too short. And that's an expensive mistake, it happens. Uh, especially when you're moving from project to project like we are, we're like we come here to work on this project and then jump on something else and then come back to this. And I just made a big excuse and you guys just gonna have to take it. Listen, I appreciate you watching our channel. Uh, God bless, have a great day. Thank you for sticking your nose up my leg. That was pretty awesome.